Hello, NSU Spartan fans, and welcome to another exciting year of NSUSpartans.com fueled by Gatorade. I'm Ross Gordon, the play-by-play -play voice of the Spartans, as we bring you the 2013 Media Day here from Dick Price Stadium. Today, we'll talk to a couple players. We'll also talk to the head coach here at Norfolk State University, Pete Adrian, as they get set for their first game against Maine on August 31st here at Dick Price Stadium at 6 o'clock p.m. Let's get things going now as we start off the 2013 Media Day. Ross here. Gordon now with Malik Stokes, one of the three individuals right now battling it out for the start quarterback position first of all Malik uh, transfer in this is your first year here at Norfolk State University your first camp first week is over talk a little bit about what you've seen from your teammates and what you felt in the in the system this year at Norfolk State um, I mean everything's going pretty good in my opinion um, I mean we are here we're all working together and um, uh, I really think things are starting to go pretty smooth um, you know obviously the first couple of days learning curve people shaking off the little rust and um, and then we right back into it and uh, I mean I, th I think everything's going pretty good you look at the way this season is starting to set up for you. You, you see the, the quarterback competition that it is right now. How do you feel that it's helping you and helping the other two individuals in this battle right now to become better? I mean, competition breeds um, winners. And, um, you know, like we talk about every day, we have a good room. We have a great room. Um, three, four great quarterbacks. And um, at the end of the day, all we can do is all make each other better. And, um, you know, the final, final decision is going to be left up to the coaches. And, uh, um, I mean, all we can do is um, go out, handle business. Um, be leaders, um, pick up the offense, make sure that we know everything that's going on um, running off the field. And, um, and then, like I said, at the end of the day, um, you know, the coaches will make that decision. But um, as far as the competition, I, I mean, I think it's great because um, if you're not competing, you're not getting better. And uh, that's my opinion on it. Okay, you, you look at the way, where you are right now as a team. Let's talk about where you think this, uh, this, this offseason has uh, brought this team right now. Uh, it seems like after a week, it seems like people are starting to get more comfortable in their roles. Talk a little bit about what you've seen in this first week. Um, I mean, and, and I've been here uh, most of the summer. I um, got here in May. Um, being able to be around those guys, uh, I, you know, I really noticed how much they want to win. And, um, you, know, you know, the first week, um, you, you see who really worked. And I think pretty much a lot of people were able to go home and work hard this summer and um, it's showing in camp. Um, obviously, we got a lot of wrinkles to work out. Um, that's any camp. Um, but other than that, um, as a team, I think we, we look pretty sharp so far. And um, it's only going to get better. I mean, as camp goes on and we start installing more new plays and uh, just getting camaraderie with our teammates and, you know, our respective side of the ball, um, it's just only going to get better at the end of the day. So um, it's going well. I think so. Thanks. Thank you. And we'll continue to. Omari, again, we, we're talking about the quarterback battle here in, in the offseason. Talk a little bit about what you've seen thus far in your first week of camp and how, how things have gone for you thus far. Um, first week, we can see that we have a lot of talent on the team. We've got a lot of guys that want to win. We've got a lot of guys that's willing to put in the effort to make the big plays. Uh, a lot of guys doing the little things right. Uh, and that's really what it takes to win, and that's, what, that's why we're all excited to be here. Um, we're all looking forward to what this year has to offer. So. If, if, if you look at the three, you're probably the dark horse to, to maybe put your, put your name in for the starting position. Talk a little bit about what you have to do as an individual to either make yourself better or push the guys in front of you. Uh, well, with three great quarterbacks, we, you know, we all have strong points. Um, me, personally, just got to step up, you know, be more of a leader, um, you know, make the plays that's necessary when they need it, manage the game, don't turn the ball over, uh, move the ball down the field, good encouragement for my team. Uh, because, like I said, we got three good quarterbacks that are all making competition and all making us all better. So, uh, you look at the three of you. You almost came in in the same kind of in the same kind of path. All three of you sort of transferred into Norfolk State. Talk a little bit about you guys uh, being able to talk to each other and get and draw strength, and encouragement, and encouragement from each other. Well, uh, all the three of us coming from different different programs before we all have different views on how football is played and and, and things like that. So we can all offer feedback to each other and get different perspectives on on things that need to be done you know certain certain things are done at other programs that aren't done uh where where you've been so we it's making us stronger individuals stronger leaders and we're able to take that to different positions around our team and make our, our team better uh, as a whole thank you sir thank you thank you mr timmy okay <laughs> rose gordon now joined with uh by tyler clark first of all tyler first year first semester you had a summer with the team to get a little bit of a rhythm with some of the guys talk a little bit about the first week of practice and and pads and helmets and really seeing what it's going to be like here first week of practice has been well i mean we're just we're installing new parts of the offense um so you know we're, we're all learning you know it's not like any of us are coming in you know with less knowledge than anybody else you know we're, we're all putting in this new thing together you know getting our timing down and all that stuff, you know, just, just like every other team is. Um, but but it's, been, it's been good. I mean, I think everyone's picking it up. And, 
you know, I, I'm looking forward to, to getting started here soon. You already have gotten started a little bit. Uh, first week of practice, talk a little bit about how that's going and how, and how you've looked and how you felt in the, in the new offense. I, I mean, I felt great all week. You know, I think we, um, we've all played at a high level all week. Um, you know, I, I just think we need to carry that in, you know, with this next week of camp and next week in the, in the main. Um, you know, if, if we just keep the intensity high, and uh, you know, just stay stay in the film room, stay with our coaches. You know, we just really have to buy in, you know, to the system. And I mean, it sounds cliche, but I mean, that's what the great teams do. You know, they just buy into the system. You know, everyone plays their role. And you know, if everyone just plays individually, do their job. You know, do, you don't try to have to do anything special. You know, I, I mean, that's that's it. That's how that's how great teams compete. So. The competition at quarterback seems to be very, very tight right now. But it seems like all three of you lead in your own special, different way. Talk a little about what you bring to the team. I, I just think I, I, I try to be, you know, we're all trying to be game managers, you know, so, you know, we're all trying to, you know, stay away from the turnovers, you know, which which we know was a problem problem last year. And, you know, you know, we're not taking big, big chances, you know, we're just getting completions, you know, move the ball down the field, move the ball down the field. You know, I, th I think we're all doing that. I mean, me specifically, you know, I, I'm. I do the same thing just as everybody else. I'm just trying to move the ball down the field, you know, make smart. You know, if we need to make changes at the line, make the change, uh, you know. And like I said, I'm just buying into the system just like everybody else. I'm not trying to do anything special. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I right, appreciate it. Right, Preseason, first team on MEAC, Joe Hawkins, tight end for the Norfolk State Spartans. Um, coming up, coming in as a walk-on and uh, not really being highly recruited and everything to uh, being preseason on MEAC, uh, what's it been like? Uh, the journey's definitely been hard, man. It's, I'm just happy, and it's just a blessing for me to be here right now and just to be uh, considered preseason on MEAC. Uh, it's, it's a pretty new experience, I guess. Uh, I, I received it in the past, so now uh, this is pretty much expected of me. Um, speaking of um, expectations, what are your expectations of uh, this, this com coming up season? Uh, definitely to win every game we play, uh, definitely to win the MEAC, and definitely to make some noise in the playoffs. All right, and you guys have a, uh, a competitive a quarterback battle going on. Uh, what do you see from the quarterbacks so far in, um, during camp? Uh, com competing. Uh, all three quarterbacks are doing great. Well, all four of them actually are doing great. They're slinging that ball around, making the right reads, making the, the correct throws. Uh, the competition is really tight right now. So luckily I don't have to make the decision who's going to be starting. So all I got to do is catch the ball. So it's pretty cool. All right, Joe Hawkins. With head coach Pete Adrian, uh, first of all, Coach Adrian, uh, media day, always good to get guys out and, and expose them to the media for the first time, not on the, uh, especially the younger guys and some of the newer guys coming in. First of all, let's talk about this first week of practice and, and, and culminating in the media day. Talk a little bit about how it's been and what you've seen from your young men. Well, it's a typical camp, you know, you come in and you're working pretty hard and the guys aren't, you know, they can train all summer, but it's never like it is practice. And with all the weightlifting and extra running you got to do and things like that, it's really physically challenged. I think they've met that challenge really well. Uh, the attitude's been tremendous. So, you know, we've been in pads uh, for, for two days, Friday and Saturday, and we had a nice little uh, scrimmage this afternoon, we should say, since it's a little later. And, uh, again, you know, your defense is always going to be in front of your offense. That's just the way it works. But I was real pleased overall with the effort, and I really thought we improved uh, really well in our special teams for this early in camp. Coach, uh, you look at the, the totality of what, you, what things are right now, a lot of battles that you want to see continue to grow and get better as the, as the camp goes along. What are some of, the, some of the key points that you just want to see get better or uh, just get, get, to a, get to the point where you can see where it's going to be? Well, I think the, probably the biggest thing is offensively is just being consistent protecting the ball you know we didn't do that last year and that's what we have to do and, and uh, if we can achieve that then I think we'll have a real solid football team. Coach uh, you got the first week out of the way so you got the particulars out of the way everybody knows what's going to happen next week it's going to be uh, a tougher week because you're going to be in pads most of the week talk a little about the second week and how that and how that goes into the third week. Well what happens in the second week Monday Wednesday and Friday are the famous doubles so you get two practices a day so you know the whole week you're getting a lot of work so it'll be a lot of more uh, uh, really individual stuff and then group stuff where we can work on routes and try to write, you know get some things better. And then of course, you know, every day you got to go a little bang bang because football is physical and the kids like to do that stuff and that's part of the game. Coach, I know you don't like to single people out right now, uh, but is there a position or is there something that you can say that has been uh, a little bit better than what you expected it to be? Well, I don't know. I think I think they are what we expect to be. But you know, our defensive line is very fast, very big, and, and got good depth and. You know, they're tough guys to block, and, and the thing is we got seven or eight of them in there, and they really move well, and they've been in great shape, so I'm very pleased about that. 
And I guess finally, Coach, at this point, you, you like to see what some of your younger guys are going to do. And it seems like you have some freshmen who might come in and be contributors. Talk a little about the younger, younger guys and how they're adjusting to college life. Well, we we're very pleased with the, with the freshman class. We knew we had a good class, and we're certainly not disappointed. Uh, yeah, there's going to be eight or nine of them going to be involved in special teams and probably uh, play some roles and back up in the defense, get a chance to play, and a couple of them on offense. So uh, very pleased with that because it's some help where we need in certain positions. Thank you, coaches. I know it gets deeper for you uh, as, the, as the summer goes along, and hopefully it gets better. Well, Ross, you know it's always a pleasure. Always. Thank you, coach. <laughs> it's been a jam-packed day here at Dick Price Stadium. It's the 2013 Media Day here on North campus. Norfolk State University gets set for their first game August 31st versus Maine right here at 6 o'clock p.m. I'm Ross Gordon, the play-by-play -play announcer here at Norfolk State University on NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.